At a Senate Energy and Resources Committee hearing on July 23rd, Senator King of Maine questioned Rob Gramlich, president of Grid Strategies, about how to rebuild the grid while showing the chamber how it can be done. Everybody knows we have to re rebuild the grid. My concern is it's going to be done in an expensive way that's going to add dramatically to uh, ratepayers' costs. Mr. Gramlich, you're nodding. I take it you agree. The record uh, doesn't show nodding. Absolutely. Uh, we, are, we are doing transmission in sometimes the most expensive way possible now, and we could change that. Well, one way to change it is reconductoring. Here is a conventional electric line high tension conductor. Here is a carbon fiber based conductor. This little guy will carry twice the energy as, as this one. So if we put these on the grid, we don't need to change all the poles, the right of ways, all of that kind of thing. And we can get a significant amount of additional throughput in the grid at a fraction of the cost of rebuilding the whole system. Uh, the same with, you're familiar with the term GETS, the various technologies that enable uh, the grid to be managed more efficiently in terms of temperature and load and all those kinds of things. The estimates I've seen is that reconductoring and GETS could increase throughput on the grid by something like 40 percent at a, at a fraction of the cost of rebuilding. My concern is that the, uh, the rate base model encourages utilities to build rather than to reconduct or, or use GETS. Mr. Gramick, talk to me about how we solve that problem. How do we provide incentives for those who will be rebuilding the grid to do so in the most cost-effective way and the, to minimize the effect on the ratepayers? Yes, well, and I would note that uh, cable that you're holding is manufacturing manufactured near Los Angeles, uh, and uh, but unfortunately, 90% of that company's sales go to other countries, which are deploying advanced conductors uh, and grid enhancing technologies in far greater levels than is, we are here. Is that partially because there's no incentive on our utilities it's, to use this kind of technology? I, I think that's generally right. I think a lot of utilities are actually um, looking at them now, uh, but we need to get beyond pilot stage to make it more systematic. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips, and thanks for watching.